So in the original version of Type in Space app, I had this uh, typeface menu. So when I select target text object, then when I select this font menu, it shows this uh, list of uh, available font, and I could change the font like this. So I'd like to recreate this menu, uh, overlay menu in my new version of Type in Space app uh, using the holographic, the HoloLens 2 buttons for near interactions. So, so first I want to modify this uh, button layout. Uh, I don't want to use this icon and I'd like to have a more larger label, text label for the font name. Um, as I uh, <coughs> designed in my original version, uh, something like this, uh, large clear uh, text dash displays this uh, the shape of font. Um, so I can modify this icon and text uh, section. So I'm gonna just disable this icon and. I'm going to adjust this layout of the button, um, uh, the text match curve component. I'm going to duplicate and uh, so for this one, I'm going to make it um, maybe twice the size. Or this should be clipped here. And I don't want to have overflow. Um, just truncate maybe. Mm. Wrapping disable. Yeah. And for the alignment, I wanna make it top aligned and left. Looks good. And this. So for now, I have finished creating uh, six different font menu in the font list so I'm gonna include uh, this prefab into the toolbar prefab so here um, so I'm gonna add this font list and I wanna make it displayed uh, on top of this the toolbar button when the font button is pressed so so now I have placed this font list and so in default uh, by default I'm gonna hide it um, then when this typeface button is clicked, pressed, then I want to show that object. So so here, here's an on-click event. So I'm going to drag and drop this font list and make this game object uh, dot set active as true so that uh, it can display the font menu. So let's go back. Now I can delete this font list in the scene so when I run it um, so I'm gonna press this typeface now it displays this font menu of course it's not gonna do anything so let's go back to toolbar and of course when this font button is clicked. I want to change the uh, the font of the currently selected font, the target uh, text object. Um, so to do that, uh, there should be some way to uh, store a currently selected text object as a kind of global variable. So one of the script that I brought from my original uh, old uh, typing space project is this interactable manager. 
So this is the script that uh, contains the list of variables uh, that I can use for kind of global. Um, so it has this uh, selected game object and uh, which is a currently selected uh, text target object. So uh, using this, I can change the font and color on the text uh, that is currently selected. So, and to assign this currently selected object, there should be some way to uh, detect uh, the click event on this uh, text object itself and assign itself to that uh, global manager. So, currently in this text object, I have this manipulation handler which has this manipulation related event like uh, manipulation started, ended, and hover event and the bounding box uh, has this rotate and scale event but um, I don't have any event handler for a click event so pointer pointer click so so I'm gonna add one uh, which is a pointer handler uh, so quite useful script in MRTK uh, so by using this you can easily uh, access these uh, receive these events uh, so I can use this uh, pointer clicked event to uh, so when this text object is clicked with pointer uh, either through uh, hand ray or motion controller pointer or uh, other methods then I can assign this text object as a currently selected object in the manager uh, interactive man manager so I'm gonna add this action here the event I'm gonna use this assign currently selected text object here then I can drag and drop this text object itself so so I'm gonna also make this text object as prefab um, so if I run it again so now in the interactable manager script so when I select it shows this currently se selected game object and the text mesh pro component of it. Yep. So now I can manage access the properties of this text mesh pro on the currently selected uh, text objects. So, so now I think I can uh, change the font of target object so to change the font um, I brought a script from my previous project um, it is called change font uh, so in this script I'm assigning proper text mesh pro a font texture to currently selected target object so I'm I want to call that script in this hololens 2 buttons and Again, in this HoloLens 2 button, I'm using this interactable script uh, because it has this onclick event. So this onclick event works for both near and far interaction. So I'm gonna drag and drop and select this change font script. And I'm gonna use this change font with name script. So here I can pass the font name. Uh, in this case, it's Arial and I'm gonna do the same way change font with name and this button is for Georgia and another one change font change font with name and this is uh, Sego UI so I've saved it um, let me hide this and let's do a quick test so I'm gonna do I'm gonna select uh, 
uh, one text object and bring it a little bit closer to make it easy to see the font change then I'm gonna bring up the font menu so here as you can see it's changed uh, band shift impact knowing how to scroll task sego yeah it works nicely 